so hello everyone my name is akshay and welcome to this lecture 4 of our recursion playlist so today's uh, topic will be generate subsets so dekhte hain kya hai yaar and we will code it we will discuss the approaches and we'll code the solution so generate subsets so as you can see the first input we have a b so the output should be as all the possible subsets or you can say all the possible subsequences it should be printing one empty string the individual strings and the combination a b similarly for a b c it should print the empty string the uh, the individual strings that is a b and c and the combination as a b a c and uh, b c and a b c so for a string length n total uh, two power n subsets or subsequences can be obtained so subsequences and subsequences are different hota hai, right wo aapko pata hoga right subsequences kya hote hain ki you have to always move in the forward direction like you you took a b as answer you took a and then c as answer and you, then you took b c and a b c you cannot you cannot take uh this one c a c a is not a substring or a subset uh, c a is not a subsequence or a subset it is substring it is substring and we don't want that we just want to print the subsets or the uh, like and the subsequences that can be obtained so i hope you can get the question so now pause this video and think for a solution think for an idea to which you can uh, code this approach okay so the idea here is to use recursion that is we can generate all the subsets of a length let's say of n that is abc string uh, how to how we can create so you can uh, use uh, by using the subsets of n minus 1 that is ab if you are considering n, n as abc then the n minus 1 length will be 2 and we have to consider the ab length as of now so you can see here all the subsets of ab will be an empty string a b and ab so just we just make a recursion here okay, when we are considering the empty string so we take the uh, remaining that is that was c right we take the remaining uh, character and we do not take it so this is for do not take and this is for take so if for empty string if we do not take it will still remain empty and if we take the character c it will be c for the another subset that was a b and a b we did the same thing for a you can see if we do not take it will be a if we take it will be a c similarly for b if we do not take it will still remain b and if we take the last character c it will be b c for a b it, if we do not take it will be first character first string will be a b and another will be a b c so what's the conclusion that we i i was able to derive subsets of a b c which they have which i have represented in this red circle by using the subsets of a b right so that's how i am saying that i can derive all the subsets of length length of string n by using the subsets of of string length n minus 1 so i guess this hint is enough for you maybe and try to code the solution and we'll resume the video so if you tried and still not able to uh, write down the code so let's just build the recursion tree and we will uh, code the approach together so i took the first empty string as a current string and and now using the above logic i can say that the current string is actually the number of subsets of length is equals to zero string right and from this length equals to zero string using all the subsets i can derive the subsets for the length equals to one string right and this is the answer for length equals to one it should be uh, one empty string and the first character a similarly for length equals using the length equals to one i can derive all the subsets for length equals to two and similarly for using all the subsets of length equals to two which is here in this second level or third level as you can see i can mm, i can derive all the subsets of length equals to three so as you can see that this third level is our answer this third level is our answer but how do we print it how do we code this thing i have to maintain uh, as you can see that at the last level at the last level all my answer is present right so i have to maintain one level index also uh, let's say index index variable it is actually what level index so first it will be pointing to zero so at this stage it will be pointing to zero here it will be pointing to one here it will be pointing to two and after this level it will be pointing to three right right so it will hit the base cases and in the last video i already explained you the leaf node hote hain ap apne recursion tree ke that is actually the base cases so what i can write if the base cases is here that if if index if index is equals equals to 3 then what i have to do then print the current string print current string right 
So what will be the overall code? Now try to write the overall code using this uh, recursion tree and we will resume the video again. So here's the code for our recurrence tree, recursive tree. So I can see that at the last level, if I maintain an index of uh, uh, do not take as uh, take and take, so at the last, it will be pointing to three. And what is three? It is actually the string length, right? It is actually the string length. So the base case will be written as a pi is equal to string dot length, print the current string and return, stop the recursion. At this, uh, after this level, we have to stop the recursion, right? That's why using the return statement. And what are we doing in the recursion? For this current string, what I'm doing that we are opening two branches of don't take, of do not take and take. So if you're not taking the string, that means you are passing the current string again to the recursion, right? So recursion is taking three parameters here, the original string, the current string as an empty string and the index at zero, right? So what we have to do, if you are not taking, then you're passing the same current, right? So I'm, I'm calling the function again for function, the string, the S, which is actually the end length string, the current, I have taken nothing, just pass open the another branch. That's why passing the single current there and I plus one. Since we are going to our different branch, since we are uh, uh, leveling up the index, that's why doing I plus one. And this is for the second branch. This is for the left branch. If I just make an arrow, so this is for the second branch. What I'm doing, I'm actually considering the string at index zero, right? At index zero. So that's what I'm doing. I'm saying that S comma the current plus the s dot caret in java we have we, we can write s dot caret i initially i was pointing to zero so s dot caret i and since we made an open open a uh, new branch and we are moving to the next level that is why i plus one so i hope this code is clear to you so let's uh, actually run this code in a compiler i have already written this code and let's see so we have this string as abc so we have we have made a function uh, where the string uh, is one parameter, the current string, which is actually an empty string and the index zero, right? So you can see the this function, the same base case, which I have explained that if index is uh, equals to the string length, that is it has crossed the third level for the string length three. <laughs> that means we hit the base case and all are present at the last level, right? So there's the base case. If index is equal to string that length, print the current string and just return stop the recursion from uh, at that point and how are we recurring we are we are uh, we are not taking the possibility of another character so we we just pass the current in the first recursion branch and in the second recursive branch we took we actually took the character uh, with the index 0 and then again with the index 1 and 2 so we use this we so we actually use this index variable in this code so current plus str dot caret index comma index plus one. So if we run this code, we will get the output. Let's wait for it. So the first line is actually representing the empty string. That's why it's printed nothing there. And you can see in the second answer is C then B and BC. And you can see the same sequence in the output. The second answer is C, B and then BC. And the rest of the Strings were A, A, C, A, B, and A, B, C. You can see the same sequence A, A, C, A, B, and A, B, C. So that's all about the generate subset code uh, solution and the question. So let's meet in the next video uh, with this fourth question as Tower of Hanoi. Until then, stay tuned. And if you are new to this channel, please like, share, and subscribe. And bye bye. Take care, y'all. Keep studying and keep solving.